Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the webmaster of www.mcnz.com, where you can go and get all sorts of free tutorials. I'm also the webmaster of scga.com and the author of What is WebSphere and the SCGA Certification Guide and Question Guide with over 300 questions in it. Please come to my site, uh, check out some of the online mock exams that you can take, and uh, even if you get a chance, click on a Google ad or two and uh, visit some of my sponsors. Anyways, one of the things I wanted to, to talk about right now was, was linking back to the portal inside of a portlet and uh, really handling forms. Um, and I'm going to create a new project that, that works on a, a number guesser portlet. So I'm going to have a little portlet that says, hey, guess a number between 1 and 10. I'm going to create a new project for this. I'm going to call it the number guesser. What should I call this? I'll call it the number guesser project. Why not? Call it the number guesser project. Um, we'll call it the number guesser project here. Okay, that all looks good for me. And uh, I'm going to create a basic portlet here. So I'll click the next button and create an empty portlet. I hate all the junk that they throw in there for my portlets. No web diagrams or junk like that. Um, and it's going to be the number guesser portlet. Um, number guesser um, portlet there. There we go. The display name, the portlet name, um, even the code generation. I'm going to call this com.examscam.portlet. And uh, I'm going to call it not the number guesser portlet project portlet. That's just the number guesser portlet. That all looks fine and dandy to me. So I'll click the next button. Uh, no edit or help modes right now. Just we'll we'll keep this nice and simple. In fact, I may even go in and and delete some of this junk here. Now, one thing I I want to mention as I so delete this, I'm going to handle everything in the do view method of the portlet right now. Um, this is actually going to violate a couple of best practices. All of your form handling should be done in the action processing phase of a portlet. Um, I just want to keep things simple, so I'm going to do it in the rendering phase in the do view method. I'm just going to delete that for now, but I'm going to come back to it a little bit later, um, another tutorial, some other time, some other place. Um, but I just wanted to point that out that uh, really form handling should be done in the action phase, not the the rendering phase. But we'll get it to work inside of the rendering phase. Now, one of the things that I want is I want actually a JSP page that, that has an HTML form in it. Uh, if you want to do, um, if you want to create uh, web pages, you do it in JSP files. So it's just, it, it makes more sense. It's easier to manage. So I can create a new JSP file. It'll be a portlet JSP. That'll add a bunch of custom tags to the portlet for me. Um, and uh, what am I going to name this particular file? I'm simply going to name it number guesser.jsp. Now I like using all lowercase letters for my names. Um, if you've got a name that's not going to be design time checked, just make it lowercase letters. Um, if there's no design time checking, then just keep it simple. Um, so I'll make that the, the number guesser JSP. I'm going to make this a, a big screen here. Um, you can see it puts in the portlet the fine objects and the, the portlet custom tag lib directive and uh, even does uh, a couple of directives for me. Um, I don't want this place content here. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to throw in some of my own handsome information and specifically I'm going to add in a, a form. Um, this form is going to have two input fields, one that ask for a number to be typed in, uh, a number, another one that uh, is just a submit button. And uh, when you actually kind of look at that in a preview, this is what it's going to look like. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What is it? Guess. Now, one of the challenges that I've got is uh, when you actually click submit, usually on a servlet or something, um, you've got an attribute for the action here. Um, what is the attribute for linking back to a particular portlet. It's a challenge because the portlet doesn't have a name like a typical servlet does. Um, if you actually want to call back a portlet, what you have to do is you have to actually ask the render object, uh, the render response, to create a new portlet URL for you. So where this question mark is, really what I want to do is I want to have a, a little scriptlet, and the scriptlet should say, percentage equals response, and actually not quite response, it should be render response dot create render URL. Get rid of that little semicolon there and throw a new bracket on there. Oh, and that looks handsome. So that's actually how we 
link back to a portlet in an HTML form or in uh, just a regular anchor link. Okay, so that creates my form, and this is what it's going to, to look like here. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What is it? Guess. I think all of this looks absolutely handsome and fine. So somebody's going to type a number in. The name of that text field is number, and that's going to be sent to the server with the name number, which we can grab inside of the portlet. So, um, we now have to worry about the do view method. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. I'm actually going to paste in some of the canned code that I've already got and just kind of walk you through it. So, I've got my do view method of my portlet. That happens whenever a portlet renders. Um, I'm going to ask to see if somebody's typed anything into that text field number. So, I've got this number guesser JSP. Okay. When the portlet's originally displayed, it looks like this. Um, somebody might type in a number and click guess. If they do type in a number and click guess, that's going to get sent to the server with the name number. Okay. So, if I actually get a number, so if the number is not null, what does that mean? It means somebody's typed something in. If it is null, nobody's typed anything in, and what we should do is just send them to this particular page, the number guesser page, to get them to type in a number. If they have typed in a number, so if this number is not null, well, what we want to do is we want to print out a little message to them and we'll say to them, hey, you know, you guessed number whatever they guessed, that's number there, that matches back to the number up here. We'll say the number was 5 and then try again. We're not being too dynamic here, so if they guessed 5, they'll know they guessed 5. If they didn't guess 5, it'll just say, you know, try again. Um, it's not all that brilliant. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to say try again, and we're actually going to create and print out a link for them to try again. So notice we say response.create render URL, href, blah, blah, blah. All looks very, very handsome. Um, now, one thing I should mention is uh, we want to do most of our form handling in the action phase, not the rendering phase. So really in, in future iterations we'll change that to action URL and uh, also over here inside of our JSP we'll want to uh, change that from render URL uh, to action URL. It's just a, sort of a best practice. You want to do your form handling inside of, uh, you want to do your form handling inside of the action processing phase, but we'll get there. Um, now also notice that uh, the URL that we're using is numberguesser.jsp. That's the file that we just created. And uh, when we forward that page, notice that we use the portlet context get request dispatcher dot include to get there. We're including that URL. Okay, so that's the basic idea of the, the basic number guesser JSP. I'm going to click run on server. It's going to say, hey silly, you forgot to save all this stuff. So I'll say, yeah, saving it's a good idea. And uh, look at this, it didn't come up right away, so I'm just actually going to bounce my server and then run the number guesser project once again. So our server is now started as you can see, and I'm going to just right click on the number guesser and say run on server and look at the split. All should come up. And now notice I've also got uh, basic portlets and JSP display all uh, running on the server here. So we'll end up having tabs over on the web browser for each of those different projects that I have. So I should have a basic portlets, JSP display, and the one that should come up is the number guesser project as well. And so now here our portlet appears. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. I'll guess 4. It runs. It says you guess 4. The number was 5. Try again. And then a link to try again. I'll try again. And now this time I'll guess five. Oh, <laughs> and there we go. Anyways, that's about it for the this iteration of the number guesser portlet. But you kind of get a, an idea of of how you can sort of kind of take a form and then link back to the portal, get input from the user, and sort of start to, to manage a request response cycle inside of a inside of a portlet, taking form input. Now again, one other thing I want to just emphasize is that really we don't want to do form handling in the render phase. We'll move to kind of iterate and, and take that out and put that into the action processing phase where we do that in the process action method. Process method process action method. Anyways, that's uh, about it for this uh, particular 